What's going on YouTube? I know it's been a minute since you guys see my face, but as you can see, we are rocking the Bayonetta 3 merch. You know, there's no way this game could have came out. Y'all, y'all, y'all was going to hear from me regardless. So this is a first impressions video. So we're just going to jump right into it for full transparency. This is based off of my first two to four hours of experience with the game. Um, the full review should be out later this week. I'm, I'm slowly kind of playing through it. But yeah, I just want to kind of hop on and get my first impressions video. If you guys haven't already checked it out, we already did the playthrough for Bayonetta 2. If you haven't watched that, I will link it down in the description. But yo, with further ado, let's jump into Bayonetta 3. So, Bayonetta 3. Man, oh man, where do we even begin? Well, since this is a first impressions video, I'm not going to go too deep into the story elements or super deep into the mechanics because I have to save some of that for the actual review. But with that being said, let's jump into the presentation of Bayonetta 3 and see how it stacks up against previous entries. Now, if you know anything about Platinum Games, they are known for their over-the-top action and amazing action fight sequences. Bayonetta 3 takes that to the extreme. This game has so much going on, and as crazy as it gets, it's super entertaining to watch. The UI of the game has a really fresh aesthetic, and I love how stylized this game is. Platinum did a really good job in that regard. The music is some of the best you'll hear in the series, and I love the variety of locales you can explore. Not sure how I feel about the whole bio-mutant enemies this time, opposed to like the angels and demons, but maybe it'll grow on me. We'll see. Now moving on to the gameplay, Bayonetta 3 is definitely a much more open and complex game than previous titles. First off, the game encourages more exploration by having the player explore these big open areas. Now the game has a general direction it'll want you to go in, but there is so much more to see and do in these worlds. I also kind of got a Xenoblade Chronicles vibe from one of these areas, but yeah. There are collectibles all over, three different currencies apparently, so collect away. Now moving to the combat. First off, shout out to Platinum for adding more depth to the combat itself. One of the main detractors that I heard from Devil May Cry fans was the combat was pretty simple in Bayonetta when you're comparing it to Devil May Cry, and I could definitely see the argument. As someone who's played and reviewed all five of those games, shameless plug by the way, go watch those if you haven't, I can definitely see how Bayonetta leaves more to be desired, but Bayonetta 3, this game has some good things going for it. First off, let's talk about the ability to summon demons from mid-combo mix-ups and adding more combo potential to the fights themselves. My personal favorite so far is Madam Butterfly, but the others are cool as well and definitely makes it to where the combat doesn't feel stale or repetitive. You also have a skill tree, which is fantastic because now you can unlock even more moves and add to your moveset and combos to try out, so yeah. The inventory system is much better as well. There is no longer caps on how many items you can carry. If you have the money, you can stock up, which is fantastic. Which time was? and still is a super satisfying mechanic to pull off and one of my favorite game mechanics of all time. And Bayonetta 3 makes it even more fun to pull, so try it out. Now in terms of performance, I didn't really notice much slowdown when playing this, which is surprising considering the Switch aging hardware and how much is actually going on on screen. The combat is super responsive and the cutscenes run pretty smooth as well. Every now and then I will notice a couple frame drops, but never does the game feel unplayable or is it super distracting. So if you're worried about the performance of Bayonetta 3, don't. This game runs fine and you'll have a fantastic time. The music is also some of the best music in the series, and there has not been a track so far that I did not like. Bayonetta games always have fantastic music, so I'm not surprised here. Make sure you rock some high quality headphones, because this soundtrack is really great and it's a treat to listen to, so check it out. Overall, Bayonetta 3 so far is easily shaping up to be one of the best games on the Nintendo Switch. I had no doubt that it would be. The game really pushes the Switch's hardware to the limit and it's great to see fans finally get what we wanted. Of course, once I finish the game myself, the final review will drop on the channel. So if you enjoyed this impression and you're not already subscribed, hit that subscribe button and stay locked in. By the way, also check out the website, olympusgamingtv.com, and I'll have a written blog post talking about Bayonetta 3 as well. So yeah so like always y'all i appreciate y'all rocking with me throughout the channel uh, i'm gonna do an update video soon you guys are gonna see me back on twitch soon i know i've been kind of neglecting that by the way we did launch the website so olympusgamingtv.com that's where you're gonna get all your updates blog posts all that fun stuff so go ahead and hit me up on the website join the mailing list we got a lot of stuff rocking man so yo if you enjoyed this video drop a like subscribe if you haven't and i'll see y'all next time all right